Hello, everybody, and uh, happy, we reached 30 subscribers. Happy 30 subscribers, everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah, so as we do, we have a tradition where every milestone, which, you know, we're still under 100, so that's tens right now, um, we do something where one of us kind of punishes the other uh, and... by doing something that they don't want to do. So we, in the past, we've done, our, for our very first one, we've done horror for me. We did a Five Night at Freddy's. Yep. Then at 20, I got to torture Scott by making him play Persona with 4. Boredom. He tortured <laughs> me with boredom, and it worked. <laughs> uh, but now uh, we're going back to horror. Uh, it, it, kind of more suspense, but I think it'll still freak Cat out. Because oh, if it worked, you know, why not? Uh, so we're doing Colot. This is, this is the game that I used to test when I got a new computer. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so just go ahead and press new game. All right, start a new game. Yep. Yeah, I don't give go. a shit about my progress. All right, so what is this game? What's this about? Well, you'll see. 56 years ago, Russia, the Northern Ural Mountains, a group of nine students of the Oral Polytechnic Institute Oh, it's this! A yep. Expedition to reach the uh, Scott sent me a... The audio... Mountain of Death! Yeah, Scott sent me an audio book about this whole thing that happened, and it was extremely, However, extremely interesting. I loved mm -hmm. listening to the that. The Yidi got him. They lost and or Russian experiments. Yeah, it was, was crazy, like when I was listening to it, because uh, the guy doing the book interviewed um, the parent, like one of the relatives of yeah. the kids that died, and they're Three weeks later, all convinced the that it was the government that did it. It's almost like they were in a an oppressive, gover an oppressive governmental regime. Mm -hmm. In the end, they said it was most likely just kind of like... Could have been an accident. Yeah, mania, like mm, hypothermia. Yeah. An abandoned encampment was found. I, I think one of the big, like, um, plausible theories is that there there was a fire inside. in their tent. Mm -hmm. Further examination. And they had to escape. Cut from inside out. Yeah. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. Mm -hmm. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Fuck our tent! It exploded. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fire. And there's one guy that survived because he bodies. went with the crew, they but he got sick. Got underwear. sick, and then they didn't get to go. Uh. To their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What yeah. could terrify them so much? Yeah, and he was like the next way older than the others, wasn't he? Uh, I don't remember discovery. his age, but and I know one of them was like way older. Mm -hmm. One of them Oof. had suffered a fractured skull. Mm -hmm. This, despite no evidence of a struggle. Yep. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No yeah. external damage nor bruises were visible. Yeah, e even even after listening to that, like it's still like this, color. like the whole scenario with their injuries and the barefootedness, from the local like all this added together, just sound animals. it's still like crazy to me. Like Each what really theory, actually however, happened to them? To create more questions. Yeah, um, Expedition Everest and Disney the pulls from this too, because this mm -hmm. like course this is like the famous Yeti story. To this day, what really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be <laughs> Or at least it's it's pulled from under the snow. To make a lot of Yeti stories. Like that imagery. Mm -hmm. Act one. Alright, so Look at how pretty this game is. Oh, yeah. So alright, so I got my crouch. Zoom in, zoom out. I'm not gonna tell Cat shit. Oh no. And and like, here's the thing, this is less of a punishment than last time, because I knew she'd hate Five Nights at Freddy's. This I think she might actually find interesting, I just think it'll still like Spooky. unnerve her. Yeah. So there's no run button, there's just kind of moving. So yeah. You're just you're just some person who who like is going on the same trip that the the 
like the hikers did, I think, to, like, you know... That, that, for some reason, that made me think of a school that they stopped at along the way. Mm -hmm. Like, they stopped they stopped by a school, they talked to some of the kids there, Yeah. told them what they were going to do. Yeah. Well, because, again, all of this stuff was, like, you know, for USSR propaganda. It was like, our, our teens are way hardier than you lazy Americans. <laughs> you don't want capitalism. Capitalism bad. And then they fucking died. <laughs> Which sucks. Yeah. But it's despite, what the, despite this being a video game, horrible, horrible tragedy. Mm hmm. I'm glad that they only had drawings of that shit, you know? Yeah. Like, it, it would have been kind of in very bad taste if they'd actually used the images. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. music and, uh, stopping. Yeah, because you, you're leaving civilization behind. Yeah. I have a feeling this is where I'm supposed to go, though. Yeah. Yee. I I can't remember if this game is supposed to take place in modern day or if it's, like, supposed to be, you know, not too long after, like, when the mystery was still really, really buzzing. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm already unnerved, I can tell you that. But by, by the way, everyone, I'm wanting to make it like I tried to make it very, very dark. We had to we had to turn this light on uh, to, um, you know, have something show up in the webcam here. But uh, I also have turned off the heat. It's it's March right now, but like March in Illinois is still cold. Um, and I have fans going. <laughs> To try to, and I, I told Kat to take off her, her hoodie so Which that she can was, really feel the cold. I was very upset about that. This is always something I've liked to do in horror games if they're like very atmospheric ones. I, I love trying to match the setting around so I can right, really I feel I, it. I guess I can't do anything with that. I try to make myself really cold when I play Silent Hill too, because that like kind of reads as a cold atmosphere as well. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. I think you're going back towards the town right now. Yeah, because... Like, it looks like here. Go, go right. Go right? Oh, I missed that. Yep. Look at that. Ooh. This... Well, this isn't menacing at all. Are you coming to me? Uh... Hi, uh, Sean Bean. Sean Bean. I think it's Sean Bean. Huh. This... This is very spooky. I think I that's- like... I think that's a real area, by the way. Oh my god. Yeah, look at it. Ooh. Nature's fucking freaky sometimes. Nature's scary, man. Nom, Put nom, me nom, in nom, a nom, cave. Nom. Oh, Whee! shit. Welp. Sufferable burning light. The pain ripping apart my body. Ooh. I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Ooh. Nothing. The light went out. Tell me all this when my when it's nothing but light around here, man. <laughs> the end with the light. Welcome to the end with the light. Am I dying? Uh, I mean, in this weather, probably soon. Yeah. Start running. I can't run. <laughs> All I can do is walk, man. I can walk, I can crouch, and I, I think there is a run ahead. button. I haven't found it. Have you tried clicking in the stick? Oh, well, if I'm running, I right can't- Right now, I think you're crouched. How am I supposed to tell where I'm supposed to go? I can- oh, nope, don't turn. I'm back where I'm at. I, I think I saw something there. Where? In front of you. I don't see anything. I th I said I thought I did. Just keep going. Oh. Oh, footprints. Footprints. Oh, no. Mm. No, those are the beginning. Are these my own footprints? 
Yep. Oh, wow. Wow. I know you said you haven't, you're not telling me jack shit, but did this go on for a while when you did it? No, because I never turned. Oh, wow. And it was something I asked myself. I'm like, man, does it does it always make you go to the right place, or can you miss it and just wander around forever? Yeah, that, I was gonna say. It would be a very cat move if you. Oh, oh no, there no, it is. Oh no, we found something. You found the site. Oh god. Still there somehow. Yeah, thought they tore that down. You approached it from a different direction though. So. Press A. Oh, I don't like the color of that. Behind me. Uh, Liar. <laughs> are you a ghost? I think you're a ghost. Look at that spinny compass. Mm -hmm. I think that was another theory that where they were uh, in certain conditions, it could make compasses spin and disorient people. Oh, yeah. Man, what kind of life you lived, man? A standard one in communist Russia. Yeah. Specifically Soviet Russia. When they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. There's their bare feet. So like, what in this, what we're doing in this game, I'm assuming we're kind of just re-walking the path of what happened to them. Survival info. Running in the deep snow is tiring, adjust your pace. Yeah, running, click in L. Okay, before saying, reset the camp and set a goal for a safe route. You can focus on an object. Yep, lighting your way to a flashlight or visible. Observe your environment carefully with the help of the map and compass. Yep. It, it doesn't show you where you are on it, though, so... Oh. You have to actually, like, look at your surroundings and see if you can pick up on shit. Oh, that's gonna be really bad for me. Yeah. So, which one? Oh my god, is red south or north? Or... No idea, it's in Russian. Oh, uh, I, I think red is north. How immersive. Yeah, so you're wanting to go south right now. Okay. You're just wanting to follow the footprints. Yeah, okay. Which have gone cold. Oh. Uh, I'm assuming that light over there, though. What, from the tower? Not from the tower. I thought I saw a red light over this way. Hmm. I can't believe I let those go cold. I'm dumb. But I could have sworn it was this way. The tower, though, that's kind of menacing. Cat, all radio towers glow red. Well, it's just there. What's this? A meteor, which is one of the theories again. Oh, yeah. I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vichai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment, and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometre and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 metres and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were 
dealing with something unnatural. Huh. Ah, those are floating. Uh, what? Oh. Oh, and everyone's running in separate directions. Disoriented. And some crop circle symbols. Uh huh. What could have happened here? Okay. Let me. One of them went that way, like straight oh. ahead. Okay, I didn't see them. This game's gonna suck for me. I'm not gonna be able to observe. I, I'm so bad at observing. So having to observe things. Man, <laughs> Kat, that sounds like the talk of a pure survivor. I know. <laughs> Definitely not the first one to die. Scott, in a, Scott, I'm sure you know in a survival situation, I would be the first to die. Yeah, no, I've already told you that in many survival in, like s situations, I would probably just kill you out of mercy. <laughs> Yeah, just like, oh man, Jason Voorhees is on the loose. Oh. Yeah. Better me than him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I can't see myself, but I can see where the meteor site is. Uh, yeah, I, this is the tent that we were in, I believe, and this is like the... The meteor site. The meteor site, so... So, we're going... We should be around... There. He here. Yes. I believe. So, how do we tell if... Oh. Hi. Just like me. Excuse? But you are losing your mind, my friend. That's presumptuous. Um, slowly into the abyss, and there is no one to give you a hand. And at the bottom, I am the only one waiting for you. Oh, well, at least we'll have a friend down there. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say before? Yeah, how do I tell that I'm dying from the cold? Well, when your hands and feet start to go numb <laughs> it, and, and you start feeling weirdly warm in the cold, that's usually a good sign. Oh, no, I, I know that. But I'm talking about in the game. There's no, like, health bar. There's... Well, when your hands and feet start to go numb uh, and you start feeling oddly warm in the cold, that's usually a pretty good sign. That doesn't tell me anything. Now see the funny thing, by already by this point, yeah. in my playthrough, I had looked at the map, looked at the compass, and been like, well, I know I, I don't have enough uh, intelligence or attention to figure the, out this shit, so... And I just went blindly into the night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, but I... I get turned around very easily, mm -hmm. so... Oh, I did. Ooh, bing-bongs. Oh, uh-oh. Hi. Oh. oh. Oh, there's a building over there. I don't remember anybody talking about an abandoned church that they could have run to. Nope. I lost track of that building. Where am I? You're in a mountain range. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, where the fuck? Oh. Return the slab. What the fuck is that? Why do I have a feeling it's gonna kill me? It's probably good. You should touch it. Yeah, there <laughs> we go. You die. What the fuck was that? Him. <laughs> Him. Continue. Oh, we're back here. All right, now look for the where the people go. What? Oh. That's weird. He didn't show up there last time. Yeah, so something came from the sky. Huh. What? All right, I guess I walk away more. <laughs> All right, follow this person. All right. They're running. Might as well run. Yeah. I'm running. You're not. I... 
Hold it. I'm. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Yeah. War now. Wow. You just got beat by a teen ghost girl. <laughs> Ooh, 27 north, 52 east. 27 north, 52 east. Is that where we are? Because see, like, this is where the meteorite was, right? Yeah. So I think all of these things are like our, 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 our goals. Yeah. So if that's where we are right now, then, here, look at it again. If we're at 27 north, okay. bring the map out, and then just do the thing where you like lower the map. Uh, 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 hold it. Uh. Hold RT to lower it, okay. So if we're at 27 north, raise it up. The next one is seven north, 52 east. Oh my god, I'm gonna be- I'm so bad at this. So, we want to go south. I'm gonna get lost, that thing's gonna keep killing me. Good. It's gonna be a bad time for Cat. Sounds great. I want my little check mark points to be like, okay, you have to go with here and here and here now. And see, this is- this is why horror games are able to get you so much. Because horror games, just like horror movies, are about taking all the things you expect to be in your comfort escapism and taking them away from you. Ooh, skulls! Look, stop. They're skulls. Oh. See? Yeah. Oh. They're skull rocks. That's neat. And a note. We are sitting in room number 23. Although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Uh, food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? How far will oh, we make poor, it? poor thing. I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully, and it's snowing outside. Yes, go towards the skulls. Yeah. Like, that is... Somebody carved that shit. I think I would like to watch someone play this game. I wouldn't want to be the one playing it, which, I'm, which is mm, unfortunate right now. I know, it is. Uh, Man, it really sucks for you. How long are you gonna make me play this for? At least an hour. Oh god, please no. See, because I'm like, I'm terrified that we're gonna run into that thing again, and I know it wasn't like the fastest moving thing, and I know I'm the one that ran into it, but... I just, I do love that the first time you died to it, you were like, hello, friend. Well... <laughs> now I know it's not a friend. Ooh, there's some red up there. Red up where? Up there. Yeah, to the right. Oh man, those frequencies. I don't like how this game sounds. I don't like... <laughs> Honestly, the, the wind is kind of comforting. It's... So can't we die of the cold in the game? It's a great question. <sighs> like I kept seeing like little flashes of orange. Oh. Oh no. What was that flash? Seems to be some light over there. Seems to be a frozen lake. Yeah. Pull out your map. <sighs> we, so we we might be here. Yeah, somewhere up north. Oh, there's red there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to stay to the edge so you don't get broken into the into the ice? Maybe. <laughs> Clearly someone's been here, there's a fire. Yeah. Those don't just happen. Oh, maybe you can go see the tribesmen. Maybe they're friendly. 
I don't like the music kind of just suddenly stopped there. <laughs> Watch out for bear traps. Mm. Oh, I don't like this. Ah, uh, yes. The signs of friendliness. Friends here. Skulls. I mean, you know, maybe maybe they're the ones who did that uh, that public works project with all the skull carvings in the mountain. Maybe skulls are just their thing. Hmm. I'm just waiting for us to be just walking. I'm just trying to slash. Oh. Nope, dead end. Trying to keep my sanity best as I can, and then all of a sudden, my character just kind of plops over dead from the folds. Bleh. Bleh. I think you could make it. Yeah, but that's our way back. Oh, I don't like this. Well, uh, avalanche. Yeah. No, don't don't not face it. We want to see what's happening. I'm scared. She, did that did that teen get killed by falling rocks mm. or by a falling rock trap Ooh. face I like that one Ooh, I don't like this there he is oh, shit. you're gonna want to run all right oh 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 oh, oh. ordinance 10 north, 57 east. All right. All right, let me get a little- Let me see the compass. Yeah, I'm just getting a little more distance away. Okay, so we're still heading south. Okay. I don't like That's that. good. That's good, we're on the, we're on the trail. I actually do feel a little bit shaky from that. <laughs> So how are you feeling about the game at the moment? I think the concept of the game is very cool. I think it's the at it's it's got the atmosphere nailed down. Mm -hmm. I think I would like to watch a playthrough of this. Yeah. But I would not want to play it. Ooh, yeah, no. no. Mysterious lights it above the sun. Oh, so this is this is the UFO theory. Okay. Mysterious events in the sky were noted during the, or rather the UFO theory and or government uh, testing. Mm -hmm. During the night of 4th to 5th July, witnesses testified they had seen a bright orange sphere, which we've been seeing, uh, which had crossed the sky above the city several times, moving chaotically and immedi immediately changing its direction of flight. Flying, it stopped and dis finally it stopped and disappeared. Uh, Major Gierka, an aviation professional confirms it is impossible for any flying object we know to move like that. The military and Cosmodrome's personnel answered our questions in a short and firm way by distancing themselves to the event, informing there was no activity in the area, as well as there were no tests performed. Hmm. Barely accessible rocky notches may lead to interesting places and shortcuts. To gain access to them, you will sometimes have to squeeze through B, low-lying obstacles, or jump off them. Uh, I don't really want to head back in that direction. Hmm, that's too bad. Hmm, those look like fingies. Uh, oh, tribesmen. I don't like this change. We could use food and shelter. I hear a note. Like you, you hear yeah. that, the paper. Yeah. There's got to be one around here somewhere. I don't like what the music's doing, so I'm just going to kind of... Okay. Oh. oh, there he is. I'm out. I mean, I don't think he can get up here. Maybe he can. I don't know. Oh. Gone. All right, time to look for that note. It sounds like it's behind you. Oh, Whoa! No. Nice one. Oh, God. Uh, oh, ooh. Secret? 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 
Secret. Stairs. 11 North 55 East. We've somehow gone north. Uh... Maybe it's up here. Yeah. Or have we been this way already? I don't think so. Oh, definitely not. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Spookums. Oh, so many bones. Oh. Whoa, what was that? Was that graphical glitch? Oh ho ho ho! Ooh. Look at that guy. No. We discovered the first bodies by the pine trees. A makeshift campfire. Why would this be here? <laughs> hmm. The bodies were only in underwear. I decided to thoroughly search the area between the tent and the tree line. I discovered the other bodies every few hundred meters apart. The position indicated the victims attempted to return to the tent as fast as they could. This could mean that the threat was gone and the group decided to go back to the tent, or just the opposite. Someone or something appeared from the forest and forced its victims to run. At this point, it is difficult to determine what exactly happened. I have collected small samples from all bodies for further research at the unit's laboratory. I discussed the situation with the rest of the rescue team and afterwards they focused on the visual inspection of the tent and areas by the trees and I entered the forest. No. Oh, hi. Ooh. Oh. You might want to run. Yeah, let's get out of here. Run. So she was still alive at this point. Yeah, what? Just gonna keep running. Fucking mountains on fire. Yeah, seriously. Ooh. Try not to overly run. Still worried that that may lead to a death too. Well, no. Same I don't know. Maybe the odd, maybe the odd uh, colored smoke is good. What? Is this telling me where I am? Oh, cool. Okay, so you can check. You can check where seven. Oh, we saw seven. That was, that was, uh, that was Baphomet okay. over there. All right. Sick. Go ahead into the tent. Hey, I, I hit A. Press A. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because you can fast travel from tents. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh. That's, ah. yep. So where are we? Um, uh, right there. Okay. So. So next, we'd probably want to go over that way, if we can. Which we should be able to. We should be able to cross the well, lake, and it's a it's a cave tunnel system. That's neat. So this is where we. Let's do some spelunking. Well, I was thinking that we can even go like start from here and go that way. Nah, that's more direct. Okay. Yeah, just go down, and around. How much longer do I have to play this? Ten minutes at least. Okay. So if we go just kind of around like this way. Is Cat Cat not enjoying herself? I think the game's very cool, but I don't want to keep playing it because I'm a nervous Nelly. Mm. Well, just so anyone watching knows, if you demand enough, oh. we will continue a series. I think I think that was it. 
Yeah, well, it didn't... Well, remember, sometimes you gotta crouch through. Maybe crouching will help you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No. Uh, no? Hmm? No. Nope. No. Okay. If you were like, yo, I love this. I love Cat having to play this and be uncomfortable. Just tell us in the comments and we'll keep doing it. <laughs> we can very easily use these little subscriber experiments as, uh, as tester starting points. <laughs> Spelunk. That that goes the same with uh, the the older sub things. Like if you if you want us to revisit Persona, and can and have me continue to get mad. Ooh. Fair enough. Or if you want Cat to have to play more Five Nights. No, nope. how how about we put a no on that one? Mmm. You may have just sealed your fate, Cat. Mmm. If it grows, it grows. Look at your significance. Bruh. That you will uncover the truth for everyone to see. Well, yeah, maybe. So you can point the finger at the monster. Hmm. First, take a look at the mirror. Ooh. I mean, lady doth protest too much, bitch. Hmm. Were you the monster? Don't like this <laughs> change. Loving the cave system, though. Oh. Like, oh, he he sees you. He uh, sees you. I'm running. Run! Yeah. Run. Oh shit! I thought it was the thing. Damn it! <sighs> I'm starting to think that he's the monster. Yeah, maybe. And you know, and I know I'm shivering too, because. Oh, that's right, it's saved around here. Okay. No, this is a fast travel point. Notes are saving. Notes are saving. Yeah. Uh, Alright, just run back to the cave. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Well, you don't really have to. We're at 55 minutes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm cold. I'm, s I'm very unnerved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, I don't play horror games. I don't like it. Ooh, that's a good crunchy sound. <laughs> Again, I, I would love to watch a play. Oh, sounds sloppy. <laughs> I would love to watch a playthrough of this because the mystery is interesting, but it's too spooky for me. <laughs> it's also too cold right now. <laughs> mm. If that was me, I did that. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> thank you for 30 subscribers. We, we appreciate it. Every single one of you, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as as it grows, we continue to see that it was, you know, a good decision to start making videos, to start doing something that we can have fun with. So, yeah. So thank you for your support. We appreciate it. Keep an eye out for future videos. Yeah. Later, everybody. Bye.